Hello and welcome back to 18WJTS Inform. We are here with one of our more local superstars, of course. <laughs> we have Mr. David Wayne in today. So welcome back. It's been a few months since we've seen you last. It's always fun to be here, no doubt. And um, David Wayne typically means one thing, so what are we here to talk about? We're here to talk about the Opry. Heck yeah. Yes, it's the Huntingburg Event Center, July the 22nd. We have Tim Atwood. Tim Atwood has been the piano player for everybody and anybody in Nashville. He's been on the Grand Ole Opry, oh gosh, I think about 30 years, and now he's out <laughs> doing his own thing. So we're happy to have him back at the Opry, and he always draws a big crowd. So that is July 22nd, and uh, in October we have Barbara Fairchild. So, you know, we're up to over 300 people. They keep coming. We, we want to thank all our sponsors. You know, we couldn't do it without them. Um, uh, Ubler Developments, uh, Best Home Furnishings, Brookside Village, St. Charles Health Campus, Stryker, uh, Construction, Dubois County, um, Tourism, uh, Freedom Bank, German American Bank, Team and Realty, Kunkel Insurance, and Steve and Becky Schwinghammer. So those are all our sponsors, and the doors open at uh, 6, show starts at 7, you're usually out of there by about 9.30, but uh, you got all these great people coming. Kurt Petrie does Buddy Holly, and uh, everybody knows Gail Park. She does a little mini pearl and sings some Loretta and all that. And you got Elvis will be there, uh, Dean Smith, Isaac Corley, and Jay Michaels, who's a little Nashville star himself. Mm -hmm. So we're just bringing them what they want. They like what they're getting, and, uh, and uh, we keep drawing more people. And, of course, you, yourself, David Wayne, will yeah, be there. I yeah. assume you'll be on stage for a little bit. Yes, I, I, I love what I do. I get to come out and sing and then pass it off. I always say I'm a great actor because I've been acting like I can sing for years. <laughs> definitely actually, definitely one way to think of it, yeah. <laughs> yes, and uh, actually, we, uh, our producer, Gary Smith, we just did a new album, and on that night... Uh, uh, when Tim Atwood comes out, I think I'll be going back on stage with Tim and doing a new song. We're wow. releasing uh, nationwide here shortly in a couple of weeks called Out of the Blue of Her Eyes. And wow. uh, that was written with a local Terry Kendall and I and then uh, Buck Moore, who wrote Paint Me a Birmingham for Tracy Lawrence. He uh, helped us finish that up. So uh, we're I'm excited. You know, Buck has passed away and Terry has passed away. So uh, to be going back and doing an album uh, at this time is really uh, unsurreal, but we're really having a good time. And, and keeping the, the good time going in honor yes. of those th who are not here, right. I think that's very special too, right. and being able to share this art with the community and of course nationwide. So very exciting stuff for sure. And I, I definitely want to touch on this too, where I asked you earlier, for those who aren't as familiar with the show, this is a fundraising event, right? It is. Uh, when we had the old Opry, of course, we had an upstairs, and that was kind of hard on some folks. So uh, when I had sold that building later, you know, we uh, was looking for the right place. And Miss Mallory at the event center, who were praying for her children this morning, not feeling so well. She was supposed to be here with us. But uh, when I walked in and met her, she said, we are a, a non-for-profit. And uh, I thought, wow, this is our building. And uh, the crowds keep growing, so, you know, we were able to do that for a non-for-profit for the event center. They let us host the shows and uh, that brings them in. And uh, then uh, preachers uh, from my church uh, will run through the crowd for shared abundance mm -hmm. and raise a little money. So it's all good and uh, everybody's happy in the end. That's very exciting to hear and to hear that it's, again, not only about the great music that you guys are celebrating, but it's also for a good cause just to be able to get out in, in town in Huntingburg and just hang out with some like-minded folk and have a good time for sure. And I know that um, a little bit special this year, you're gonna have uh, someone we might know who's gonna be fundraising for a different event as well. Oh, that could be my niece, Joyce. Yes. So uh, we never know what she's up to, but we're, we're, we're always ready to help support good causes. Yes, and she's been on our INFORM program talking about the Du Bois County Leadership Academy and how they're hoping to fundraise for the Dove House Recovery Center mm -hmm. in town here. So being able to come out and not only celebrate with family, but also raise right. money for another great cause that's right. happening in Du Bois County is super neat too. And BDC has always been one of our biggest sponsors because uh, with Scott Salmon giving tickets away and uh, Amanda now and then, uh, and then you got Ty uh, popping in, uh, and we're hoping that uh, 
Scott shows up for our next show, which would be nice. So we never know when we get Scott Solomon over there. <laughs> but uh, we we love uh, all our sponsors that help us, and we've even had them where they they tell us that hey, next year we'll be ready to do it again if you're still doing this. So uh, as long as they keep coming and <laughs> and showing our support, where can you go see a Grand Ole Opry show for twenty or twenty five bucks? Tickets are twenty dollars if you call eight one two six eight three. 2221 Miss Mallory. Uh, if you wait the day of the show, uh, they're $25. Okay, but, that's what uh, I was going to ask. So, definitely one of those things that A sneaks up on you. We're not too far away from it. So, going in, getting those tickets and securing your schedule, that's super important. But even at the door, it'll just be 25 bucks and you get to have a great night out. I mean, ain't a bad seat in there. And there's Isaac <laughs> Corley and uh, uh, I, I've got another special guest coming, so you never know who's going to be there. Yeah, you know, it's the best bang for your buck. Yeah, and I know um, just from the excitement side, like you have your patrons who are dedicated and they come every year. But on our side, Ty Hunter, anytime we say David Wayne's coming in to talk about Opry, he gets super excited. He won't admit it, <laughs> but he definitely is very excited because he knows that's what the people want to hear. And you guys put on such a great show that it's um, just universally a great time. And even though I haven't experienced it yet, I know that it's a good time because I've it heard such good things. It is a great time. It's like the showdown, you know. I got to go over there this year, and I always have a great time. You were, um, we did catch you on camera. Specifically, I did because I was on stage. Um, someone was throwing some fake bugs everywhere. Oh, yeah. Singing well, Bug Man. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Kids, oh. That's my calling card, those rubber roaches. And uh, So you're not going to be throwing these at no, the event, no right? No, rubber roaches. I don't know. I could keep a few of them in my pocket. You might scare a few of your patrons off. Yeah, I don't know if I yeah. would do that. <laughs> we have caught you, so I'm just yeah. giving you a light warning. Well, if you haven't been. <laughs> been to an opera you come uh, uh, if you're looking for something to do on july 22nd and like i said uh, barbara fairchild and that's a biggie that's mm -hmm. our biggest show of the year yes so uh, come out and join us and support some good causes and i will also make the um off the brain off the top of my brain plug also that this is a middle of summer event in the evening inside that's air conditioned nice and cool and uh, have to say hello to my wife, Rochelle, this morning. She <laughs> is a big help. And uh, we have uh, all the guys in the band. You have Stu Townsend, uh, Wayne Hall, uh, Dottie Kane, and uh, Donnie Revel. Uh, we we also have uh, Greg Manette who will fill in some. Uh, so we ha we just have a great cast of musicians. And that's when you can go hear the old stuff with a little new stuff. That's what I think they like with a little bit of Opry humor. You know, we, we bring that little hee haw and Carol Burnett type thing there. So you put on a good show. We try. <laughs> Definitely yeah. try. So, David Wayne, remind us the date and what times to be there. July 22nd at the Honeyberg Event Center. Call and get your tickets at 812 683 2221, Miss Mallory, or you could leave a message. Uh, you can get them at the door. Uh, there's not a bad seat in the house. Sh doors open at 6, show starts at 7, usually out of there by 9.30. But uh, come and see a Grand Ole Opry show at the event center and support us. Yes, definitely a good time. Great lineup uh, from you guys. You've thanked your sponsors. It's a wonderful little event that happens every few months. So. Uh, once you do one, you gotta like kind of hit the rest of them. So I yes. mean, hopefully you get some new people, and hopefully they can say WJTS sent us. So. Yes, and we've <laughs> had we've had everybody from uh, Johnny Carver, who's done a tie yellow ribbon around the old oak tree, to uh, Tommy Cash, who was Johnny Cash's brother, mm -hmm. and Shotgun Red, and we keep bringing them uh, the old stars up. And uh, and Tim Atwood is a little younger, but he puts on a great show. If you like uh, Jerry Lee Lewis and Ronnie Millsap, and he does a show of his own that is really good. So very exciting. Well, thank you, David Wade, for thank coming you for to talk about it today. Having us on Inform, and we look forward to seeing him. Definitely. And again, we're just super excited to see your event. I know your niece Joyce will bring back some great footage if I don't make it there myself, so I get oh, to look at it. <laughs> always welcome to join us. Definitely. Thank you so much, and thank you so much at home for watching. This has been 18 WJTS Inform. Again, the Grand Old Opry is at the Huntingburg Event Center on July 22nd, so do not miss it. You won't want to miss it for sure, and we are local people watching local people.